was me speaking that to you. And with the passion of a lover loving his bride, with the passion of a God who's so jealous for us, he said, you are mine. You are mine. Oh, my Jesus. I am yours. Oh, God, I am yours. I need to declare that right now, that you're, you're, you give yourself to him, all of him, all of him. Oh, God, I am yours. I am yours. Glory to God. Just take a few moments right now to just speak to him father speak to speak to our father right now and just in our own words just worship him right now in our own words just worship him give him the praise and the glory and the glory give him the praise and the glory oh god oh god i am yours i am yours i am yours father i am yours take me father take me Take me I am. Father, we thank you for this time, for this time of worship, Father. Right now we just come humbly, come to you, not deserving of your blood, not deserving of your grace and your mercy. But as Joe shared, you said you you declared that you you declared that we are yours, Father.
just serve, Father. And in this room, Father, I just see hungry, hungry hearts, Father, just wanting to serve you, Father. So I just, we as, as a body of Christ, as a body of yours, Father, we just come here right now. We're just making a statement, Father, that we thank you for claiming us, Father, as yours, Father. And right now, Father, we're just claiming the city of Worcester as yours, Father. We're claiming the city of Worcester of yours, that it's yours, Father. And we're here, Father, just worshiping you and your glory and your magnificence. And just what you're doing in the city, Father, this is just a small piece, but we know that there's you're just brewing and just creating something in this city, changing the culture, just creating an earthquake that's changing the foundation of Worcester, Father. Everybody's going to know your name, Father. We declare that, and we know that, Father. And Father, we just thank you. We just thank you, and we just thank you, just thank you for your blood, for your grace, Father. We thank you for just declaring that we are, that we are yours, Father. That we are yours. Oh, glory! How that excites me, and that how it just humbles me, Father. Oh, just break our hearts, Father. Break our hearts. Oh, break our hearts, Father. Oh, glory to you, God. Glory, glory. Oh, God. to take this moment, I just had to take this moment for us to just take a moment to just worship God and just be, and just um, just repent and, and, and recognize who, what God is in our lives and what God has been doing not in our own lives in this, in our, in our churches in our, in our local communities and, and it's so exciting and it's so humbling to Joe was sharing is it's so humbling to just know that that he has he has said that we are his. Like, oh my goodness. I I, I was just I was about to break down right there and and just just knowing the, the presence of God and his mercy and his love for us. It's, it's so amazing and that's the greatest thing about this ministry. We're we're about United Night of Worship, we're focused on a revival, creating a revival in this region, creating a revival in our cities, in our in our local areas, and and we and we do this through the bringing the body of Christ together, unifying the body of Christ together. Psalms one thirty three says, just like the the oil that comes that, that just comes down Aaron's beard, it, God commands a blessing when brethren, when brothers and sisters, when the body of Christ comes together in unity. God commands a blessing. Like, oh my goodness. Like when when I when I recognize that, when I see how God continues to move in this ministry and just how he continues to to bring like-minded people together to just worship God and just declare Jesus Christ Lord over our cities, Lord over our lives, Lord over our families, Lord over our region and our and the state of Massachusetts. And let's go to the nation and the world. It's so humbling and it's so exciting to see that. So United Night of Worship, that's, that's all. If anything, if you leave today not knowing what United Night of Worship is about, that's what we're focused on. We're focused on uniting the body of Christ. We're focused on creating a revival and hunger in, in each person's heart so that, so that God can be glorified, God can be praised, and God can be recognized in our region. And then on top of that, we focus on, we do this through this night of worship. What better way of just bringing the presence of God than in just praising him and glorifying his name? Oh, God. And, pray, and, and just taking time to just pray and just call his name. That's what, that is what we're all about. That is what United Night of Worship is about. We, we've just expanded from Boston. We've been here since, we, this, this vision has been, um, brought to our founder, Zenzo Matoga, back in 2007. And we've been having nights of worships just like this. Um, started in 2007. And, and God's just been moving and bringing, and just bringing the body of Christ together and just unifying the body of Christ together. There's no, there's no, 
There's no name about, there's no name behind it. There's